Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Yoon Orc Shrine here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so as soon as you enter the shrine, the first thing we're going to do is work our way down these stairs and we're going to grab this giant ball using Ultra Hand and we're going to roll it down this ramp. It's going to run into this button, which will turn green and is going to open the door to the second section. If for some reason the ball rolls off and you completely miss, you can use your weapon to just throw at the target and it will light up green as well. Once you're in the second room, we're just going to connect these two balls here and we're going to roll both of them down the ramp on our left. So we'll grab them both and you want to center them right here on this arch. And what that's going to allow the balls to do is roll straight down without rolling off the side hit the target again and open the next door. Again, this one's a little tricky, so if you have issues, just throw your weapon at the target and make it a lot easier. And then we're into the third room here where we're gonna have three balls, all different sizes. We wanna connect all three of them together. We're gonna use them kind of like a staircase. Um, and you guys will see on the left side over here, we have a chest. So if you rotate these around with the small ball being on the bottom, and you angle it in the corner, you can actually make it to where you can jump up. Now this can be a little tricky because you can't climb on the balls, but you can jump across from them. So you may need to just rotate it a couple times until you get it just right so you can jump up to the chest, which will have 10 arrows inside. Now, once you've grabbed the chest, we're gonna take these balls to the final button. This one is probably the one that confuses a lot of people. All we're gonna do is rotate this to where the small ball is sticking out. So when we get down here, we'll rotate this just like this. And if we go all the way and take the small ball to the button and you drop the big ball just on the corner, it'll stop for a second and it'll hit the button again. You can just throw your weapon and do it a lot quicker. But if you want to use the balls, this is how you do it. But uh, and that'll be how to complete the shrine. But if you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.